Christ is returning soon. People, we don't know how long we have to live. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. We have a call on our life. You know, we've been called. To, we, we, we have been bought with the price of Christ's blood. Literally bought. You know, we were called, but Jesus actually paid for us, us, our lives with the price of his blood. Absolutely. <laughs> Your faith is worth more than gold. That's because gold can pass away, even when fire has made it pure. Your faith is meant to bring praise, honor, and glory to God. This will happen when Jesus Christ returns. Running out of time. Even though you have not seen him, you love him. Absolutely. Though you do not see him now, you believe in him. Absolutely. You are filled with a glorious joy that can't be put into words. Absolutely. You are receiving the salvation of your souls. Yeah. This salvation is the final result of your faith. This is the nature. So here's what I would suggest. Like I said, you have free will. You don't have to listen to anything I say. You can listen and turn and walk in any direction. I, don't, I do care. I honestly do. I want everyone to make it to heaven. I don't sit here for no reason. I actually care about you people. And I want to see you guys in heaven. Anyway. Um, I second that notion. I want to get there. <laughs> you know, I want all of us to go. And that's the hope we have. And that's why we're doing this. And like, we have a call on our lives. You know, some people are put in your path to destroy that call, to kill you, to take you off the path. Satan knows what he's doing. And when God's about to move, and do something big, and when much is given, much is required, the enemy knows. He's seen it happen over and over and over again for God's people. He's seen it. He's seen the, the, the call. He's seen the request that God make to his chosen so that they can go through the faith process so that when they come out on the other side, they say, oh, God is good. Oh, God love me. He's seen all the people God has got into heaven. He's seen it. And he wants to stop us. It's his only Jesus desire. Jesus has another plan. And his plan is very simple. Good thing. Because <laughs> we need easy. His plan is this. This is the route. This is the route. This is the path. This is the way we're to go to get to heaven. We are called to stay away from people who shouldn't be in your life. Stay away from the sin that doesn't belong there. The Bible's full of different types of sin. So many of them. We're going to have to get into that. But for this video, God wants us to have faith. Because He loves us. And He's just, our, like, we have, like, our time's seriously running out. Like, our time is so short. It's like, 
He just wants us to believe in him, that he loves us. And and no matter what he's calling us into, no matter what he's asking us to release, no matter what where we are and we're going through, no matter the trials, the pressure from the outside world, he's saying, look, guys, it's very, very close. I am doing everything, everything because I love you, because I love you so much and everything that you're going through it's pretty good god bless you guys like i said what i would suggest Pick up that shield of faith. Whatever he wants, he gets. That's got to be your motto. Jesus, whatever you want, you get. Doesn't matter. No way, fans or fucks. Whatever you want, you get. What do you want? You're going to get it. Why? Because you've got faith and you know that he loves you. That's and right. Getting you into heaven. And that's his prerogative. That's his main prerogative is to love you and prepare you and help you so that he can keep you for all eternity because of how much he loves you. That's right. So what I would recommend is doing that exact thing. Giving him what he wants. Letting go. When you're in those situations and you're thinking, some of you guys are watching, you're like, oh, if you only knew what I was going through right now. And you know what? I've been through some pretty, pretty rough, uh, like I said, rough situations. And I'm telling you, it's that faith that you got to hold on to. So I'll, he also wanted me to pray. Yeah, he wanted me to pray. Because sometimes there's people watching and they don't get the dream, but they're still scratching their head and they're saying, well, that would be nice, you know, if I could get a dream. But God's sending you this video so you don't have to have the dream yourself so that the person who gets the dream could share that it's across the board for the whole church so that you guys can hear that when you're in a hard situation, when you've had to let go, when you have been through the trenches, Oh, it didn't just happen. He doesn't not care. Actually, he cares a lot. So much so that he wants people on this channel who have limited amount of faith, uh, low levels of faith. He wants me to pray for you, all of us together, pray that God will give more faith out to his people. So we're all going to pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's pray. With the people watching. Like I'll take more too. <laughs> all of us. But there's some certain people watching that they know they just need to have more faith in God. So for those people, Jesus, what we want to do is we want to lift our hands up. We want to pray for them. We want to pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You give them more faith, Lord, more faith in you. They are faithful, faithful, faithful warriors, and they stand by you. They follow you. Whatever is written, they want to go to and do because they know you have called them to more, and they love you, and they know you love them. And no matter what's going on, they have faith in you because they know you're good, and they know you work all things out for their good. Lord, we pray for that person. We pray for them now, for those people, all of them, in Jesus' mighty name. And we just pray that you give them this uh, overflowing cup of faith, where now they're no longer wishing they had more faith. They have so much. They're helping other people around them have faith. You put that and add that to the list in their own ministries. In Jesus' name we pray for them. Hallelujah. Amen.
Hallelujah. God bless you guys. We're going to invite Father God.